More cat lady. Husband's being rude. Although, I will give him some slack since he almost died in an explosion. That could be pretty devastating. He lost his cab, which is probably his livelihood. Oh, yeah, that's a good Are you going to get moment. that? If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. I'm trying to walk over. <laughs> Phone! Uh, yeah, answer. Hello? Is it the dude? It's me again. Really? I'm sorry, but I had to hear your voice again. Really, man? I love you, Susan. Eww. Susan? Eww. You're still there? Please, say something. Anything. Oh, God. Um, he is fading in and out of existence. <laughs> it's kind of freaking me out. I'm sorry, but he's not home. Thanks, but we're already insured with someone else. Nope, he said that like, the insurance didn't cover it, so definitely don't use that excuse. Or, um, yes, that'd be fine. This one, since you're I'm, complying with what he said. I'm sorry, but he's not home. I... excuse me? He's at work, isn't he? He's not home yet, Jerry. Why don't you try again in the morning? He won't be back till late, right? Is that Jerry? I'm not here, just blow him off. Susan, I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? Yes! <laughs> Alright, take care then. Alright. And Susan, take stop care this. then. Yes? No. She was then cheating the on her husband. Started. It slowly grew into something bigger. Please, the arguing was something horrible. There. Stupid remarks and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued, but it was the last. Just look at the state of this place. It's a mess. It really. Listen, I know you're with Zoe is all it? day, but it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. That's You'll have still to a baby. Your day a bit better and get things done. If other women find time, why can't you? Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, all right? Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. I'm done talking to you. Yep, shut it down. I'm done talking to you? Of course you are. That's what you always do, isn't it? You run out of arguments, you stop talking to me, then you lock yourself in the bathroom and fucking cry. I'm sick of repeating the same old thing over and over again. Then why won't you give me a break, for God's sake? <laughs> You're acting like I've done something terrible. I don't even know what your problem is. Is there something you're not telling me, Eric? You'd know if you listened to me. But you never listen to me, do but, you? But you Not to a single okay. word I've ever said. Wow. Right. Here we go. <laughs> it's not you. It's the alcohol speaking. Oh goodness. I shouldn't be taking any of this seriously. I know that tomorrow you'll be apologizing to me for it. It was just a couple of glasses and you had some too. A couple I'm not of glasses drunk. is a lot. I wish I was for someone Maybe his then size. I could laugh at this shitty life. And not care so much. That's a good one. You really care so much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk to me no more. You are full of shit, Susan! Goodness. Full of shit! You're drunk, get off my case. Don't be nasty. Why don't you look at yourself, you idiot? <laughs> Why don't you look at yourself, you idiot? So I'm an idiot now, am I? You're... Yeah? You keep picking on me for nothing. No, this was coming, and you know it, Susan. If you're so unhappy with me, then what the fuck are you still doing here? Pack your bags and leave me alone. With the baby, and the piano, and the cat. You're throwing me out. This is my fucking flat! I worked my fucking ass off for seven years to buy it! Really? I'm not going anywhere! Well, I guess we ran that one out. You're drunk, get off my case. Eh, don't be nasty. Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. Are you really? Is that a bonsai okay, tree? doing all you can. You obviously care about your husband. Coming home after a hard day's work, he's gonna be hungry. Wine. Then, where's his dinner? Oh, uh, let me guess. Oil you didn't pasta. make it because you were too busy changing nappies, and singing, and playing, and washing. Yeah, I think so. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. I mean, you can put you something in the oven. You more time with our daughter yourself. You like know chicken. how important Bam, these done. things are. So pardon me, there's no dinner for a hard-working husband. From now on, he's gonna have to cook for himself. Because, you know what? The wife is working just as hard, and she's really tired of being treated this way. 
She better get used to it, cause this is just the start. There's gonna be some changes around here. Excuse I'm me? fed up of being pushed around by you. I put the bread on our table, don't I? I'm the man in this family! Apparently I will no one's make the rules, on the table because I, I get the dinner. respect I deserve. How can you talk to me like this? What is happening? How can you talk to me like this? You're treating me like dirt! Oh. Didn't you forget something? What is going I'm on your in that wife. background? I'm the mother of your child! Doesn't that mean anything to you at all? The wife and the mother? Why don't you start acting like one? When was the last time you showed me that you care about me? All you ever talk about is the baby. Well, I love her to bits, I swear I do. Yeah, I don't but think I so. But I want to have a wife too. When was the last time you even kissed me? I'm Ew. not even talking about sex. Ew. <laughs> uh, I knew it. Is that what bothers you so much? Is it? Of course it fucking bothers me. Does it not bother you that we never have time for each other? Look, we are new parents. It's always hard. All couples go through it, I heard. Yes, which is why you guys what should calm down and talk it out. I heard different. Never mind. <laughs> He's being a butt still. Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, all right? Look, I understand you've had a very bad day, but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. By well, yelling that's and what drinking? You think. Yeah? And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. You do nothing all day, while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. I think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. But she didn't. I think you use the baby as an I excuse for that. everything. Yes, she is, but... I think you're an asshole. You're also shifting How blame on her. How dare you accuse me of such things? It only takes one look at the flat to see it's all true. I mean, they both have good points, but yelling at each other is not going to solve anything at all she can take a little bit of time to make dinner all you gotta do is get some chicken and vegetables and throw it in the oven and it's done when he gets home is it gonna taste good no but it's gonna be food <laughs> so <laughs> deal with that let me go i have to check on zoe yeah let these guys go. i have to check on zoe yeah i left a window open in they're her toxic room. she might be cold no That's right, just walk away. That's all you do, Susan. You can never finish anything. If there's one thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid conversation. Go to the baby. Why not? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Are you scared of facing the truth? You both are. I'm sure are. Zoe's fine. It's the hottest summer we've had in years. Well, that's still not good. It'll be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? Yeah, I... No, check on her. No, you I check guess. on her. No. Fine. Check on Never her. mind. And then she goes to yelling. I haven't done anything wrong. Of course not. Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? That's not what I said. Well, if you're so perfect, yeah, then why are we here now? Fighting. I don't know. This is all messed up. You're behaving like a five-year-old. What the hell is wrong with you? You, Susan. You always knew which strings to pull. To tip me over the fucking edge! What? What is happening? Stop it! Stop it, Susan. I've only just started. We should finally say to each other what we really think, right? Oof. Whoa. Whoa. We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, drown? and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there, by her bed, she had some rare allergy to pollen, but oh. we couldn't have known that. How were we supposed to know? It's rare. She started coughing and choking. But you all were too busy yelling at each other. But now as a baby, I had breathing issues and my parents noticed and took me to the hospital. So this didn't happen to me. This is why you constantly chuck on your kid. The next time we saw her, when we found her, she... she was... After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back again. They found him nearly a week later. Hmm? He drank himself dead in the Oh woods. my god. 
I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. He looked bad. So did you get Ms. life Ashworth, insurance money? I, thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. Uh, who's this? What do you want from us? Are you deaf? Mitzi, let me handle this. Let us go right now, you moron. Yo, you can't Mitzi. take a hammer to the head. Is he? Leave her alone. Oh no. Don't you She's dare. Dead. No. No. Take me instead. Take me. Yeah, take her because she'll wake up. Did he? No. this guy do we have to go back to purgatory I, I just got here I don't want to do it again what the hell what what's going on you're letting me go just like that I thought she houdini her way out somehow where's my friend what have you done to her and who are you also Mitzi get some wine glasses to throw at him. <laughs> I haven't had a drink since Eric. Can I just play the piano and get the cats in here? That'd be great. Uh, go outside. Do I take the mug and throw it at him? Hey, uh, Mitzi. What the hell? You sick son of a bitch. Susan, just go. What do you want me to do? I... Don't I don't understand. Kick him. The piano? The piano? I, I have no idea who this guy is. Kitties? Is he gonna is he gonna bash those kitties? Teacup, you're the smart one. You attack. Oh, <laughs> super cat! Holy shit! Get him! Get him, kitties! Yeah! What the? Oh my goodness! That's a lot of blood. Whoa. Um. Are you guys hungry? Mitzi! Susan. Uh. Talk to <laughs> Just look at Mitzi and talk to her. Come on, let's get her out. You can't grab her? Near, uh, stool? Okay. The chair, then. Chair. Chair. Push. All right, Mitzi, pull up. Stand still, Mitzi. I'm gonna be right back with a knife, and I'll cut you down, all right? Get the noose off her first. I think those cats are now gonna be man-eaters. So can we get an explanation for that guy and who he was? They're... They're eating him. <laughs> yeah. This is... I... Don't look, Mitzi. Don't look. <laughs> They're smart cats. 
They need to go after him. I wasn't expecting them to eat him. I was I was hoping that they would attack him and not get hurt by the cats. But yeah, so who was he? <laughs> it's just some random dude that comes in and makes you play the piano for him. I don't Guys, is that where she lives? And that guy saved seven years for that. Ugh. It's probably just as expensive, if not more. Is she leaving? We're really going to do it, aren't we? Yes. yes. Let's see. You will finally get your closure. Maybe I will get mine too. So about that dead body in there, is that still that there? With you? Yes. We can always refer to it if we get lost. I've lived in this building for many years. I won't get lost, Mitzi. I will get lost. But it'd be a good idea to cross people off. Me. Once we're sure it's not them, <laughs> it might give us a clearer picture of how far we've got. She right. seems to have gotten over okay. the whole good luck, Mitzi. guy getting eaten by cats thing. Mitzi. Are you sure you're feeling up to it? This recent incident, <laughs> it must have been pretty tough for you. Incident, in quotes. No, I'm good. Yeah, really? Never felt better, Mrs. A. Are you sure? You almost died, and then you saw someone die. I now have Mitzi in my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was in, she's in my party. Okay, but I wanted to look at the remains. I wanted to look at the remains. Should we start with this guy? Listen. I think I heard something. Well, that's helpful. Knock. They're not in. Cool, Mitzi. Pick the lock. <laughs> Can you unlock this door for us? I should save. I see. You don't see these very often. This is a very special lock. Are you picking it? It would take someone much more skilled than me to open it. Oh, great. I thought you were an expert. I am. But this lock is just beyond, beyond you. Why would anyone need one of these here? It must have something to hide. Yeah, that's suspicious. Is there any other way we can get inside then? Look at the map. Well, not unless we can find some plastic explosives or pneumatic grill. Um, that's or extreme. A key. Yeah, because I'm sure there's a key lying around here somewhere. There probably well, what is. What can I say, my friend? Let's try to think positive. Well then, um, hmm. staircase. Let's just start on the first floor. Kitties! Oh my god, there's so many! I hope you don't have to lose. That one looks like it's starving. It's so skinny, but that one's fat. <laughs> What's up with all these cats? Cats seem attracted to it, but why? It's just an old sofa. There's some stitches on it. They look fresh. Hey, Mitzi, you wanna... You wanna cut it open? <laughs> Stop examining. Mitzi, cut it open. So, what next? Let's look around first. We must check everyone. I'm absolutely sure I of Adam is living in one of these flats. Well then, I guess we go to this door. It said that they moved out, right? They used to live here, they moved out a little while ago. Okay. Open. Damn. Mitzi. Pick it. Mitzi. Pick the lock. Would you like to try your famous lock picking skills on this lock here? Let's see. You the should be able to do that one. Open this lock with a piece of wire. That's fantastic. Have you done it yet? <laughs> I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. Do you mind? Uh, so picky. No, sure. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. Thanks. Yes. So go and stare at the wall. Why is that broken? Ooh, look at that heater. Those are good heaters. Oh, is that the tub against the wall? What is happening in here? A, a spanner? Oh, it's a wrench. There's a big old hole. We live on the second floor? Yes, check map, check, check map. 
Okay, so we can just go up. Eh. We need something to stand on. A table. It's rotten through. Mitzi, you look like you weigh nothing. Look at. Right on the edge is some black shiny object. Can't quite tell what it is from here, but it looks like it's some kind of statue. The cat statue? That's a cat. It's definitely a kitty. Reach. Yeah. But it's rotten. Probably fall and break my neck. I have to find another way. Okay, well then. Also, who set up the lighting Clearly in here? Clearly this place is empty. I reckon we can cross it off the list. But there's a hole! Press any button to close. There's a hole, Today, Susan. What does depression feel like? Like you well, don't want to do anything. It feels like there's no I point in die, doing anything. I have to live. You try and try and try, but nothing ever changes. Most of the time I feel like nothing I gets want better. To live. I have to die. Your actions are meaningless. That kind of stuff. It's just an ordinary old electric socket. We need a way to get up there. Window? Oh, well, you're lucky. That means you don't have to really worry about air or using air. That bothers me that the bathtub is just against the wall like that. Can we use this sofa? Nope, nope. What's this note? From flat one, we apologize for the cluttering in the hall. The removal company has been called and they will collect the sofa and the chair soon. Can we use the chair? Sorry for the inconvenience, but we're sure we can we can put up with these few items for a bit longer, just like we put up with your dog for all these years. <laughs> I guess I can't use the chair. Radiator. Those radiators are some good heat and things. Heat and things. Listen. Doggy. We probably shouldn't break in. <laughs> Can I do something with this radiator? <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure. I need a ladder or something. I don't know, I'm kind of stuck on this. The table is rotten through. There's a window. And then there's this normal socket. Can I use this on the socket? Okay, well then. I think this is a good place to cut it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Cat Lady, where we're just going to go through the different apartments in the building. Look at these cats. Aren't they cute? Move, Mitzi. You're in the way. Look at the cats. They're so cute.